and just beginning to tap into your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're actually going to take our palms and we're going to rub our palms together and create some heat and friction between the hands. And then we're going to palm our eyes. So let the cheekbones rest on, or the heels of the hands rest on the cheekbones, the fingers draping over the forehead. Just a slight pressure of the palms into your eyes as you continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. We hold 80% of the tension in our body, in our eyes, which is quite amazing. So as you breathe here, we're just allowing that tension or even overstimulation to just be released. <sighs> Helping us to just come into ourselves, our bodies this morning. One more breath here. Good. And then we'll release our hands slowly away from our face and we'll just shake off the hands toward the ground. We'll relax our hands onto our legs and we're going to open our eyes with a soft gaze and begin a presence meditation to just bring us here and now with ourselves, with each other in this sacred time that we're giving each other to replenish, renew ourselves, come back home within ourselves. If we've felt a little on vacation from ourselves maybe this week. So with our eyes open and a soft gaze, I invite you to begin to notice five things that you can see not really moving the eyes, but just drawing in the information viscerally or peripherally. Five things that you can see. And now we're going to close our eyes. And noticing four things that we can hear right now. Now noticing three things or textures that you can feel. And now noticing two things that you can smell. And now noticing one thing that you can taste. Okay, let's bring our fingers now up to the center of the collarbones, right at the center knobs, dropping down an inch below into the 
hollows of the upper chest. We'll move into our wake up practice, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So we help to get energy flowing forward again, if it's been running a little backwards or scrambled. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Coming to the center of the sternum bone now, one or two hands. Coming under the breast to the lowest ribs. Coming over to the side seams of the low ribs, tapping. Deep breaths. Coming up to your cheekbones, tapping. Good, shake off the hands toward the ground. Relax your hands on your legs. Close your eyes for a couple of moments, just feeling into your breath, seeing if a little bit more length can grow up your spine through the top of your head as you continue to root down through your hips and legs. And then we'll tap our hand to our leg on the same side a few times. And we'll pause and we'll brush off the hand, shake them off. Take the opposite hand to the opposite thigh. Crossing over energy. The, one of the main patterns in our body is this crossover pattern. Good, and then we'll slowly come to a pause and we'll light our hands up right in front of the hips. And as we inhale, we'll draw the hands up the center line of the body. And as we exhale, we release the hands around the body and into our energy field. Three more times with your breath. Just kind of clearing it, cleansing it, fortifying it. I'm going to do it one more time and I invite you to bring a word to mind that you would like to embody in your life today. Maybe it's joy or ease or peace, health. And we'll anchor it in our energy field. Let's do it one more time. Bringing in that word. And then we'll hook it all up to our center with a finger in the navel and a finger between the eyebrows. Press in, pull up, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth three times. Good, release your hands, shake off the hands and then bring your hands to heart center into Anjali Mudra. As you inhale, stretch your arms up overhead, root your hips. As you exhale, weave your arms back and forth. They cross, they open, they cross, they open. Good, inhale, stretch the arms up toward the sky, twist at the waist to your left. Exhale, weaving back and forth, sealing your energy field. Good, inhale, stretch up, twist all the way to the right. Exhale, weaving back and forth. Good, inhale, stretch the arms up, come back to center, exhale, weaving back and forth. We're gonna take our hands out in front of us. They could be on the floor, they could be on blocks, and we're gonna stretch our spine forward as we root our hips. 
Stretching into our back and spine. Good, we'll walk our hands over to the left, reaching that right sitting bone even deeper into the earth as we stretch the spine here. Walking the hands over to the right, stretching the hands away from the spine as the left hip anchors down. And then we'll walk our hands back in, rise up. We're gonna stretch our legs out in front of us and give them a nice shake out. And then we're going to bend our right knee and bring our foot in toward the right hip, or we can take it over the left leg to the other side. And we're going to bring our right fingers behind us on the floor or a block. And our left arm is going to wrap around the right knee as we inhale, lengthen the spine, rooting the sitting bones. And as you exhale, go into your low belly and slowly turn it toward the right. As you breathe into your back and it begins to soften open, Perhaps the rib cage can float a little bit more to the right. The back shoulder, the right shoulder softens down the back. And then the neck is long through the top of the head. If it feels good for your neck, slowly turn your head toward your right shoulder, stretching into the scaling muscles in the side of your neck. Now you can return into yogic breathing in and out through the nose. But anytime you feel a buildup of emotion or energy, exhale out your mouth. You're literally just wringing out stress, tension, stuck emotions that might be hanging out here in the back, in the organs. Ah. <sighs> Good, we'll let the head slowly release. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, unwind all the way back to center. And now take a counter twist to your left, her breath. Slowly come back to center and then we'll switch legs. Left foot can come over to the other side of the right leg if it would like, and then we'll wrap the right arm around the front knee, left fingers on the floor. Find your roots first. How are we gonna stay rooted as we move into the expansive fullness of this season and this time of year so we can really be present to its beauty and joy? without depleting ourselves. So come into those roots and then find a little bit more space and length as you're growing up toward the sun through the spine. We go down to our lowest part of our spine to begin our twist toward the left. And as you breathe, you'll continue to Feel into space in your back and maybe the front body would like to turn a little bit more with each breath. So even though the head is lengthening, the chin actually softens toward the center of the chest. And then maintaining that length through the neck as you slowly turn your head toward the left shoulder.
And let your head slowly come back. Take a deep breath in and exhale back all the way to center and take that counter twist to the right for a breath. And then come back, stretch the legs out and wiggle the legs. Okay, so while we're upright, I'm gonna have you grab your strap and we'll make a loop in the strap before we lie on our backs. So you'll take the end of the strap through both of the rings, pull it through, and then it comes back through the center of the rings to make the cinch. And then our loop's gonna be wide. We're gonna keep it nice and big. And then we'll set it to the side. And we are going to want our block nearby and bolster. And then if you'd like to use your blanket for a head support, you'll set that up at the end of your mat. And go ahead and lie down on your back. If it feels good, you can stretch the legs all the way onto the mat or bend your knees with the feet on the mat. And then once you arrive here, slightly lift your tailbone off the mat and reach it toward your feet and then relax it back on the mat to lengthen your spine. <sighs> Good, so we're gonna draw our right knee in toward the chest and place our hands behind our right thigh. If your leg is straight on the mat, root your left foot down, or if your knee is bent, press your foot down with some muscle energy. And as you inhale, you're going to move your thigh away from the chest into your hands, straighten your leg and point your toes. As you exhale, you'll bend your knee toward the right shoulder. So a little bit wider than the chest. Follow your breath here. Inhale the thigh bone back into your hands, straighten your leg, point out your toes. Exhale begins and the knee bends toward the right shoulder. Three more times with the flow of your beautiful breath. Good. The next time the knee is toward that right shoulder, you can place your hands around your knee and guide it in a little bit deeper and take three deep breaths. Now we'll anchor our left arm onto the floor we're cupping our right knee and supporting it as we flex the right foot. We're going to inhale and open our right hip and knee toward the ground as we keep the left hip stabilized on the mat. Our exhale brings the knee back up to center. It could also cross over the body to the left a little bit. So we'll flow with our breath here, inhaling and opening the hip and knee, exhaling, coming back up, crossing the midline three more times with your breath. Creating more space in the hips here to let energy flow more freely so that we can be more in our natural flow, trusting in more of the flow of life. Good, we'll let the knee come back up to center and pause. Switch hands on your knee and anchor your right arm onto the ground. We're going to inhale here and press our outer knee into our hands so we feel our right buttocks and outer hip toning. 
And then as we exhale, we'll guide our knee to the left and toward the floor into a low spine twist. We'll flow here with the breath, inhaling, pressing the outer knee into the hand as it comes back up to center. Exhale, guiding it to the left. Right shoulder blade is planted deep into the mat through these movements. One more time. Now we're going to bring the knee into the twist. We're gonna place our left hand behind the right knee crease and gently press into there. You can stay here. You could also extend your right leg, pressing your foot as if you were gonna press it into a wall. And your head can also turn to the right, bringing the ear to the mat. Going to where it feels most loving and kind to your body. And then we'll bring the head back to center, releasing the knee. We'll stretch the right leg long all the way to the mat, relaxing the body. Your right leg can stay straight or you can bend it. And now we'll go to the second side, bending the left knee, placing our hands behind the left thigh. Your inhale moves the thigh away from the chest, the leg straightens and the toes point. As you exhale, bend your knee toward the left shoulder. Follow the pace of your breath. And now draw the knee in toward the left shoulder for three deep breaths. Using your breath and this posture to massage your colon, your stomach and your spleen. The right arm anchors onto the floor and the right hip stays on the mat. The foot is active. And now we're going to inhale and open our left hip and knee toward the earth, reaching long through the inner groin, out the inner knee. Exhale, let the knee come back up, cross the midline to the right, flowing four more times with your breath. And then pausing up top, switch hands on your knee and anchor your left arm onto the floor. Inhale and press your outer knee into your hand. Exhale and guide your knee to the right toward the floor, planting your left shoulder blade. Inhale, press the outer knee into your hand to come back up to center three more times.
And then we're going to hold the twist, right fingers pressing behind the left knee crease. Option to straighten your leg and push out with your foot and option to slowly bring your head to the left. Let your head return to center, bending the knee if it was straight and release the leg. Let it be long as you slowly float it all the way to the earth. Relax and feel held by the earth. Now we'll bend our knees one at a time and place our feet hip distance apart and walking the hips, heels toward the hips. We'll tuck each shoulder blade underneath the upper back. And we're going to move into flowing bridge pose with our breath. So we'll inhale, we'll tuck the tailbone under, we'll press into the feet, backs of the shoulders, back of the head to lift the hips and the arms can reach up overhead. As you exhale, you'll relax your arms and your spine and hips back to the earth. Follow your breath. The hips rise up because the back body is toning and you feel the roots growing through the shoulders, head and feet. So the front body can light open with more space, more breath to be received by the body as we open our lungs. The next time you rise up, we're going to hold bridge pose <clears throat> for three to five breaths. Engage your inner thighs toward each other isometrically and really reach long out your kneecaps. And then slowly relax the spine, the arms and the hips back to the earth. Walk your feet wide and let your knees rest on or near each other in constructive resting pose. Completely relax your hips, thighs and lower back, your jaw and the face muscles. And then we'll drift the knees apart and walk the feet in hip distance apart, aligning the knees above the ankles again. And you're first going to find your strap loop and you can draw your knees toward the chest and place the loop around the feet. And then you'll bring the loop all the way up to the thickest part of your thighs. And that's where you wanna cinch the loop and as you're cinching it, keep your legs moving apart and into the strap. So they're still at hip distance apart. And that metal ring is not digging into your skin. Ah. 
Okay, we're going to lift our hips up now and place our block underneath our sacrum. So for most of us, that lower level block will feel most supportive. If you feel more open in your front hips, you could also take the block up to the second level height. So a couple options there. So we're keeping this slight tension into the strap, pulling the legs apart, but our legs are still in that hip distance location and tucking the shoulders underneath the upper back if they got kind of loosened. <clears throat> so we're coming into a supported bridge pose here. So even though we have this slight tension of the legs pulled out, we are looking to relax the back of the hips into the mat and the rest of the upper body is relaxed. You could also choose to place your bolster under your hips if you would like a little bit more, more soft surface. You feel like you just need that extra comfort this morning. Your nervous system will enjoy that as well if that's calling to you. Now you have the option to stay here with knees bent. You could also drag one heel at a time down the mat to straighten the legs into another variation of bridge pose where your heels are rooting down. You're still pulling the legs apart with that muscle energy into the strap. So the sacrum is staying most supported. Ah, releasing just anything else that's holding out in your front hips and groins that's inhibiting your flow, flow of joy and ease and creativity. Just allowing that energy to be released out so more of that light and flow can draw in. We're just looking for 50% effort in the legs here. So notice if you're over efforting with that muscle energy. Or under efforting with not enough. <clears throat> few more breaths here. And then we'll slowly, if the legs are straight, we'll slowly drag each heel back in toward the buttocks one at a time. Walk the feet back in toward the hips. Just relax the muscle tension into the strap for a couple breaths. Now there is a caveat. If you are menstruating this morning, go ahead and omit the block. And you're going to be just resting in constructive resting pose for this next, so next pose, which will be shoulder stand supported. 
So if you'd like to join me, I'm gonna take my legs up above my hips and stretch them up toward the sky. And I'm going to cinch my strap closer toward, e toward each other so that they're holding my legs together and I don't have to hold them there as much. With the arms rotated out, the backs of the palms can rest on the earth, or you can follow me into a head hold here. So we're gonna take our two piece fingers into the back of the head, the bottom of the skull, where the skull meets the neck spine, there's a notch, it's called a power point. You're gonna find that notch, the elbows are relaxed on the floor. And you're going to travel two inches out from that notch. You'll kind of go over those ropey tendons and you'll find these hollowed spots behind the ears. And you're going to press in with those two piece fingers on each hand. You're gonna press into these energy spots here and massage deeply for a couple of breaths. These are another set of power points. These are also headache points if you get headaches to massage. And then with the elbows relaxed, you'll keep your fingers. It's like you've plugged yourself in now to the battery. We're going to recharge all the cells of our body as we hold these points here lightly, breathing. We are an electrical system, our whole body, and we have to continually discharge excess energy and recharge so that we stay full. So this is a great way to recharge our battery, which is our cells. When they are healthy and vibrant, we feel that way too. You'll begin to feel perhaps warmth or tingling or pulsation under your fingers and that's all normal. And if you don't feel anything, that's okay too. Be here another minute or so. You can always take a break, bending your knees, but keep your fingers plugged in if, if you're with me here. Now with your fingers, you'll press in again and massage in a circular motion for two more breaths. Now you're going to slide your fingers down the sides of the neck. We've just unplugged and we're going to place our left hand over the heart, so over the left side of the chest. Your right hand can just rest on your belly here. Now we're going to anchor in this energy and slowly draw the knees in toward the chest, just taking a couple breaths as we start to transition the legs now. Allowing that flow of blood and circulation to flow back down as we take one foot at a time back to the mat, relaxing the hips into the block. Now with your right hand, you can rest your hand anywhere else on the body that's seeking support or healing this morning as you receive this 
energy from the electrical system of your heart to be sent to that area of your body. You can always move your hand to another place. And then we'll release our hands and we'll loosen the strap loop and we can just thread it off our feet. We can lift our hips up and remove the block or bolster and just set your props to the side. Hmm. Okay, we're going to roll all the way over onto our stomach. And when you arrive onto your stomach, you'll reach your legs out long behind you. You'll stack your hands on your forehead and then rest your forehead on your hands, relaxing your hips begin to rock them side to side. And pause in stillness. Now we'll set up our legs directly behind our hips with our toenails pressing into the floor and our inner ankles and inner shins are hugging in toward each other. So there's muscle energy in the legs. And we're going to place the back of our left hand onto our low back. And our right arm is going to straighten out onto the mat in front of us. Your blanket can stay there, you can move it. And our forehead is going to start resting on the floor. Begin to massage your low back with the back of your left hand for three breaths. And now we're going to Float the left leg off the earth, pointing the toes, the right arm, the head and the chest float off the earth. And we'll take three breaths here as we reach long out our toes and right hand for swimmer's pose. Breathing into the hand on your low back. And then we'll lower down and we'll switch. The left arm reaches out in front of us. The back of the right hand comes to the low back. The forehead will rest first on the floor and we'll massage three breaths in that circular pattern right onto the low back, right over our kidneys, our adrenal glands. And then we'll inhale the right leg up off the earth, point the toes, the left arm lifts and the head chest follow. Three breaths into the low back. Really lengthening out the top of your head. Coming out when you're ready, stack your hands, rest your forehead there, relax the body and rock the hips.
and rest in stillness. Okay, we'll place our hands now under our, or right align in line with our chest. So our elbows are straight back. Toenails pressing into the earth. We draw tone up the legs, the low belly tones, the back body tones. The forehead will start resting on the earth. The shoulders move away from the mat. And as we inhale, we'll float the spine up off the earth no weight in the hands into low cobra, breathing into the spine. When you feel complete, release the heart, the hands, stack the hands, rest the forehead, relax the body. Rock your hips side to side to reset your nervous system and to release tension that might be hanging out in our back. Right, and then relax the body. And then place your hands underneath you onto the mat. Tuck your toes under. Now you have the option here to press yourself back into puppy pose or to downward facing dog. Puppy pose, really pressing into the backs of the toes, hips reaching back toward the heels and then rising up onto the fingertips. Armpits lifting toward the sky, heart is melting toward the earth. Feel free to move and pulse a little bit. Slowly rising up. Okay, we're gonna find our block and our bolster. We're setting up for a supported fish pose. So your block is going to come behind your bolster at the low height for a head support. The bolster will be horizontal in front of the block. If you'd like some extra low back support, have your folded blanket right in front of your bolster, which you will sit on. And you can always double fold if you do need extra support. So this is a, a heart opening pose. <clears throat> so we're gonna bring the edge of our shoulders to the edge of the bolster and take a hold of our head because we love our necks. You can start with your knees bent, hips on the earth. And then we'll lift the hips slightly. We're going to drag our shoulders toward that block. So the head comes to the block. Our shoulders and arms are now on the north side of the bolster. And then our hips release down. So this is when you're like, oh, I need extra support under my hips, perhaps. And then you can mindfully come back up. And you could stack your blanket a little bit higher. Or if you feel good, then you'll just let your arms stretch out, rotating the arm bones out with the backs of the palms on the earth. You could always bend your elbows into a cactus shape as well if that feels more easeful. And then again, just slightly lift the tailbone, reach it toward the feet, and then relax the tailbone back down. Hmm. 
You have the option to keep your knees bent. You have the option to straighten your legs all the way onto the earth. And we're drawing breath up from the belly all the way to the upper chest. And as you exhale, feel your chest relax and your belly soften. This is a restorative posture. So you want to feel so supported by props, by the earth, as you just drape your body over these supports. Imprinting that energy that we are safe to receive support and to release into our support systems, to be held by them. Releasing the need to always be the one that's holding or giving. Instead, embodying the energy of worthiness for us to be held and supported, just like we offer that to others. Now I invite you to bring awareness to the left side of your chest. Notice how that area is feeling. Does it feel open, spacious, or light? Does it feel dull or heavy or contracted? Noticing without judgment. Now you're going to imagine that there's a pink light emanating out of the left side of your chest. You could also, if light visualization doesn't work for you, imagine that there's warm water. And as you inhale, you're going to send that light or water down the inside of your left arm and off your pinky finger. And as you exhale, you'll draw that water or light back up to the left side of the chest. And you'll continue to move that light with your breath. Up and down the heart meridian. The next time you exhale, you can release that visualization. 
Then feel into the left side of your chest. Noticing how it feels now. And then moving your awareness to the right side of your chest and noticing the texture of that area. Is it light and spacious? Is it dull or heavy? And then bringing that light, pink light or water to the right side of your chest. And with your breath, inhaling it down the inside of your arm and off your pinky finger. Exhaling it back up that pinky finger through the inside of the arm and to the right side of the chest. Going with the pace of your breath. Releasing the visualization. Feel into the right side of your chest. Notice how it's feeling any different or the same. Begin to deepen your breaths now. If your legs are stretched out, slowly bend one knee at a time and place your feet on the mat, hip distance apart. We're all going to lead with the heart, the left side of the chest, as we take a big roll to the right side, using our left hand to push the bolster out of the way so that we can come all the way into our right side into fetal pose melting our heart toward the ground. And then slowly press yourself back up. You're going to place the end of your bolster onto the block at an incline. And then your blanket can rest at the end of the bolster. You might may or may not need it, but it will be there. And we're going to do a counteracting pose to our fish pose, which is a reclined twist, supported twist. So we're going to bring our right hip next to the end of the bolster. And rooting down through the right sitting bone, we'll draw length up the spine and take a deep breath into the belly. As you exhale, draw your low belly toward the bolster to the right, and then lay over the bolster with your front spine and chest. And then you can turn and rest your head to either side where it rests with ease on the ridges of your ear.
You have the option to stay right here. You also could deepen your twist by slowly pressing yourself up halfway, drawing your right ribs toward the right, and then lowering back down to the bolster. Take a deep breath into your belly and a slow breath out. When you're ready, you'll slowly press yourself up and then wind your spine back toward your knees and pause. Eventually, you'll come over onto your left hip with the knees bent. And we'll do the same thing on this side, binding your length out of the rootedness of your left hip. Take a deep breath in. Slowly draw the low belly toward the left, lowering your chest and spine to the bolster and resting your head to either side. You could also slowly press yourself up, draw the left ribs around a little bit deeper if you'd like to take the deeper twist. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. And gently press yourself up and wind your spine back toward the legs. Pause here. We'll transition into Shavasana now, so you can make your way onto your back. Blanket for your head, a bolster for low back support under the knees, or resting on top of your thighs to add more weight to settle your nervous system. And if you'd like to shake the hands out, and then rub the palms together. You can do that palming of the eyes to take you into Shavasana. Bringing the palms directly over the eyes and just resting the hands on the head, 
until you start to feel a shift. Allowing just a calm, cool breeze to flow over your head, to calm your mind, to draw the energy down into your body and back to the earth. Resting your arms at your sides when you're ready. If anyone in the room would like an eye pillow, raise your hand.
Begin to feel your breaths deepen and expand from your belly. Feel the support of the ground and the earth rising up to meet you. Continuing with that sense of support as you begin to slowly stretch and move and reawaken your body in ways that feel good to you. Maybe taking the arms overhead, stretching that full body stretch with the toes pointing. Eventually finding your way onto your favorite side and into fetal position. Slowly pressing yourself up into a comfortable seated position. We'll close by placing our left hand followed by our right hand right over our heart. Bowing toward our heart, giving gratitude toward ourselves, gratitude to each other for holding space for each other today and being held in our energy bubble of love and care that we can always lean into. Let's send out our love, our cup of love. Maybe there's someone that's on your heart this morning or you can just send it out to the world. It will be felt and received and it does help us anchor more love. So we'll take a deep breath in together, chanting the sound of one ohm. Thanks for practicing with me this morning. Blessings. Namaste.